Okay, so here's the uh, Brother Hobby Returner R4 2206 2300 kV motor. This was sent in by Brother Hobby uh, for testing. It, uh, when they sent it, it was uh, uh, in the prototype stage. I don't know for sure if these are already out uh, for retail, but uh, if not, it should be coming out pretty soon. Uh, thanks uh, to Brother Javi for sending test samples for us to test and share uh, results with you guys. Uh, so that's pretty pretty cool of the factories to be sen uh, to send in test samples. Uh, so anyway, I, I uh, took it apart just to show you guys what's uh, how the motor is built. Uh, one of the uh, as you can see, it's got the um, one of the distinctive features is this color scheme which uh, I guess uh, some people like it, some people don't like it. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, uh, these could be pink and with the Hello Kitty sticker on them. As long as they perform, I really don't care what color they are, but, uh, you know, whatever. Uh, color is the last thing uh, uh, I notice. Uh, performance first. Uh, another thing to note on this motor, which is pretty worth uh, mentioning is the uh, uh, the shaft uh, this is supposed to is a titanium shaft so uh, one of the first uh, of its kind I don't think I've seen another any other motor that uses a titanium shaft uh, and this one's hollow all the way through so as you can see right there uh, as different from other motors that are hollow only up to around right there and then uh, hollow partially up to there and they're solid through there uh, so anyway that you know that helps lose some weight but uh, not a lot but you know I uh, just thought I mentioned that to you guys uh, the most notable feature of course is titanium that's that's pretty cool I think uh, shaft itself it's uh, on the motor side it looks to be uh, four millimeters uh, so that's 3.9 right there uh, it's, uh, these aren't you know only fairly accurate so yeah it is it's four millimeter uh, shaft and uh, it does use uh, shaft retaining screw with uh, the use of uh, bronze washer and here's the retaining screw one thing is uh, it's a pretty pretty strong retaining screw uh, it was in pretty tight with the thread lock uh, but you know I was able to without uh, using the technique that I've used for the uh, for the DYS motors, where I I use my sol sol soldering iron to heat up the uh, the screw, and so that uh, melts the thread lock, and then you're able to to loosen it without uh, camming uh, the screw. Uh, this one I didn't. Uh, I just went ahead and took a chance. I just pressed on it really hard and turned it, and it came out. It was it was in pretty tight, but you know one key thing to have is uh, good uh, good uh, Allen keys. Uh, so you know you, you should you should have these because the the sizing matters. So if if these are too small, then they'll they'll slip and end up messing up the the screw so you know make sure you got a a good set of uh of wrenches i i i like this one uh bon hose uh these are pretty good and they're cheap uh, you can get them at amazon so i like this set uh so one other thing to mention is the windings as you can see they're single strand wire uh, rather thick uh, the wire looks pretty thick 
the uh, laminations I didn't measure them but uh, just eyeballing uh, they look like they're 0.15 millimeter I'll have to double check on that or you know just check the motor specs from the factory but they do look thinner than usual so that always helps with uh, making the motor more efficient and more powerful uh, and uh, what else uh, well uh, so that, there you go that's uh, that's the motor uh, oh uh, magnets uh, they seem to be yeah they seem to be curved uh, although the gap between them it's a little bit little bit a little bit uh, of a gap there they're not really packed in tight but uh, you know that's uh, not a biggie uh, you know it'll they'll still make good power uh, not sure I think they are using n52 magnets I'm not you know uh, again I have to double check on the uh, on the specs uh, for the motor so overall uh, the model uh, as usual from brother hobby the motor feels uh, feels pretty pretty well made uh, the tolerances are quite good uh, it goes in pretty tight uh, pretty tight on the bearings oh yeah before I forget uh, I was looking at the bearings the their ESO bearings uh, Japanese and so it says EZO uh, Japan made in Japan so those are supposed to be those are really good uh, you know good bearings they're known ESO is known to make uh, good bearings so that's uh, that's pretty good of uh, brother hobby to be using those bearings uh, they'll they should last a good while uh, now let's see the weight uh, again this has uh, it does have the uh, you know the connectors I use for testing so uh, just an approximation of the weight I'm gonna let this side of the wire rest right there so it doesn't get accounted for that much uh, well you know it uh, 27 grams that's that's pretty good for a 2206 motor I imagine the titanium shaft has a lot to do with the uh, weight reduction so there you go it's a light 2206 powerful motor uh, test results coming up so check them out uh, we'll see what this baby can do
not much to talk about right here uh, the motor performed pretty much on par with uh, other 2206 motors um, only one thing to that I want to mention is uh, the 6 inch props uh, 6045 and 6040 uh, the battery I didn't like I didn't top it off I didn't recharge it so as you can see the the voltage sag was a little bit lower than in my other tests so you know it's always good to check uh, the max thrust and to check the voltage on every test you know mm -hmm. uh, right here you can see it went below 15 volts uh, other motors you know it was maybe like 15 and a half 15.9 so you'll end up with uh, higher thrust so when you when you keep that when you take that into account uh, the max thrust should be very close to other motors so uh, the other ones were fine you know just the same thrust that uh, the same voltage that I that I usually get on the test so you can compare these other these other uh, test results with uh, the other motors so overall the motor uh, it's it's pretty pretty powerful uh, same as other 2206 2300 kV motors uh, seem they seem to be a good match for the 5 inch props uh, and also the 6 inch props so although not that many people are running 6 inch props these days uh, well that was the test I uh, hope you find it uh, useful and thanks for watching